everyone, welcome back to my apartment. It's Lynn again. And today we are gonna be tackling some home projects that I've been meaning to tackle, but this is the first free weekend I've had since May. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Like this weekend is for me and for me only. I've been really thinking about how I feel rushed to decorate because I have to present it to the internet. Put put my, 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 my house out there to be perceived. And the thing is, I've been just really loving living at home recently and it's such a privilege to say that like the place that you sleep is also a place that you're welcomed and you feel safe in. So I really want to fine tune the things that I already have and focusing on buying secondhand, also being a maximalist with a minimalist mindset. I feel like something I struggled with a lot when I first moved out on my own is I just liked having stuff because I didn't grow up with stuff and like having stuff was like an indicator of like security. But for the past year, I've been thinking a lot about, hey, do I really love this if I forget about it and I forget that I own it? So that's kind of the mindset that we're going in today with. But yes, let's build this little baby Japanese lantern. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure if it's obvious, but I have a lot of ambient lighting in my house because I don't like overhead lighting. So I've gotten a lot of questions about like, how do you create that perfect lighting that's not too harsh? And for me, it's just lots and lots of lamps because I can't hang a lot of things in this apartment because the ceilings are so high. Whoa! Ah, this is so cute! So I used to have an LED strip right here along this corner, but I think it's too harsh. So I took it down and I'm gonna put it somewhere else. And I recently moved this entryway table to this corner. And I think this would be the perfect place because my dining room is probably the most dim. Isn't it crazy? I was protesting last fall. This is when the affirmative action case was just making its way through the courts. I literally brought this sign to the Supreme Court to say like, hey, let's not toss out the one thing that's helping diversify our schools. Uh, anyways, yeah, I think this will fit perfectly like this. For the moment of truth, really hope this works. <gasps> oh, uh, y'all heard a click on and it like just simply wasn't working. Wait, that's so cute, guys. Something about lamps like this just make me like think of mochi or something very round and soft. And so, woo, it's like a little one hug. So I just got back from picking up takeout because treat yourself, am I right? I also got some milk tea. I didn't get any boba, but I did get book phone. Start your computations. So I just finished rearranging the bookshelf. I think that for the future, I buy a lot of adult fiction and nonfiction now. So every time I need to add to my bookshelves, I always have to shuffle everything over because my adult is all the way on the left-hand side. So I left some extra space in between young adult and the adult books. So it's easier to insert and alphabetize as necessary. I also rearranged the knickknacks a little bit. I think it looks a lot more purposeful now and a little bit more thoughtful. And I I also decided that I'm gonna put the love yourself her photo cards I have somewhere else and you'll find out later in this video. But another thing that I don't really know how to style and decorate are these Nam June photo cards. When I worked this conference this past spring, my staff members got me a gift. They got me multiple gifts. They're the best. I love them so much. But one of the gifts they gave me were a bunch of transparent RM cards and I I love looking at them, but I don't know how to display them. They've just been sitting in a stack on my bookshelf. I have one extra poster frame. I'm going to use some washi tape and put it onto poster board and then put it by my Pop Funkos against a wall on the shelf. Hello everyone, 
transition to the couch because I have a very exciting project to start. The gallery wall. I've been envisioning this for the area around my TV for ages because right now it just feels really plain, especially ever since I took Christmas decorations down. I have so much artwork, like so much amazing artwork. And I feel like something that always steps up your decor is if you put it in a frame. I've been collecting a bunch of frames. I've gotten them secondhand from eBay, from thrift stores. eBay is such an underrated place for furniture, y'all. Pretty reliable. Like I got my Nintendo 3DS off of eBay. Anyways, I don't think I'll have time to hang them up tonight. Plus it's pretty late, so I don't want to disturb my neighbors, but I am going to pair my artwork with the frames that I have, but I just want you to look at some of these frames. Like they are so damn cute. I am kind of obsessed with this oval one that has this metal dusty rose frame and then it has a built-in mat board. I'm not sure if these are enough frames to fill up the wall, but it'll be a start, which is what matters. I love this coffee table, by the way, y'all. I think I'm gonna rotate it so it faces this way and it'll feel more balanced. Okay, I think if I put the lamp over here, it'd look good. Okay, wait. Okay, y'all, so upstairs, as you know, I have this floor lamp that hangs across. And I really like this because I got it for free. I got it from my apartment's trash room when people were moving out. And this one I was gifted, but now that I'm looking at the type of hardware I have in my living room, new arrangement, I think this will be better fit than the upstand floor lamp. I feel like it looks better and it casts light out this way. And it definitely draws your eye in instead of up. It makes it a little bit cozier, right? I think, I don't know, I don't know. Y'all, not to be a decisive Libra for once, but I actually think this looks way better. This can go upstairs in my bedroom. Okay, so I'm gonna take a snack break soon, but I do want to organize what's on my TV stand into this box. So I also got this TV stand for free. This box I got from Goodwill a while back. So I just had dinner and I also went to the gym and I took a shower. So that's why my hair is wet. I don't know why I gotta explain this to you, but I'm explaining to you why I look like a wet dog and I've kind of looked very disheveled this entire higher video because I've just been inside y'all. I've just been inside. I have no reason to like do my hair or put on makeup right now, okay? What well, we're gonna tackle tonight because it's 10 p.m. and I really should go to bed. I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule, but instead I've been doing these DIY projects at 11 p.m., which is my peak working hours. I had this awesome hutch that came with my desk and I love my desk. The one thing I don't love about my desk is that there's not a lot of table space, especially when my PC is also on the tabletop. It's just like, I have no room. I don't have any elbow room, y'all. So I decided the solution was to find a different place for this hutch. And I was like, maybe I'll put it by the TV. I cleaned up my bookshelf and took away some knickknacks because I really wanted to put all my knickknacks here. These are my pride and joy. Like these are never coming out of the box. You know that moment? Okay, spoiler. Spoiler alert for Across the Spider-Verse. Skip over to the timestamp that I'm putting in right now if you haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse. You know that moment when Gwen is in Miles' room and then she like just rips open like the minted figurine that's still in the box? This is how I feel about these, okay? One day when I have a password protected glass case where I can put these under and unwrap them and like have them posed in all their glory, I'll unbox them. But right now they're staying in their box. And I also have like a bunch of figurines because gotcha boxes are the main source of siphoning all my money away from me. Let us, let us, let us proceed. Let us begin.
I pretty much finished everything that was on my to-do list. The only thing I didn't get to was actually framing and hanging up these two multiverse posters that I got recently. One is of, ooh, one is of everything everywhere all at once. And the other one being, it's the Chinese poster of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. So I'm gonna try to find proper frames for them and then find a place for them in a future video. For now, I feel like I'm ending off in a good spot. I'm a little unsure if I like the way that the shelf turned out right now. I think it looks a little messy, but I don't know how to make it look cleaner while still displaying all the items that I do wanna display. So if you have any tips, let me know. Hello, good morning everyone. So we're gonna do this quickly because I have to go to class and also today I'm gonna go in to see twice. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to give a little narrated tour of the living room because I realized I've really never done this besides for my bookshelf tour. I currently have a little playlist, a little lo-fi Studio Ghibli inspired playlist on the screen right now. And I think it looks really cute with the gallery wall. I think the gallery wall is just so me. And I think all the frames came together really beautifully. As you can tell by the gallery wall, this little corner right here is still in the making. I don't know how I feel about the Coca-Cola framed print. I got that for free from Coca-Cola. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to put it because it's not exactly my style But I don't want to just like throw it away because it was a very nice gift on the coffee table We have my diffuser and we also have this candle that I made while I was in Boston. It smells Delicious. I also have my local wolves edition of p1 harmony their cover issue. Oh my gosh They're so cute y'all and I also have a Chinese calendar book that my friend's mom got me for Christmas This is one of my favorite things that I've ever been gifted and I'm so glad that I finally get to display it I feel like along this pillar. I still need one more piece of artwork So I have this portrait that my friend made for me and then a print from inner peach and the couch has been simplified for a while now there's just the couch pillows and a rainbow pillow and two throw blankets I get a lot of questions about where my living room rug is from the koi pond it's from a textile artist their handle is rugs by Trin and I absolutely love them everyone's always amazed astonished at how much it costs but like hey this is like artwork y'all and if there's one thing I will always spend money on is small artists and it's also hella cute when Kayla is just playing on the rug and it looks like she's playing with the fish. This shelf is pretty messy right now. I think I do like the first three levels a lot. I kind of coordinate by color. So we have yellow, green at the top, red and pinks, and my girl group albums in the first shelf. And then the second shelf is my boy group, which is just BTS. <laughs> then on the third shelf, I have my card games, and also some gardening planting tools. I have some extra pots, my watering can. So in the kitchen, I have not decorated a ton because I feel like the kitchen is just very male. I, I, like the color scheme is just very not fun girly pop but my fridge is pretty much decked out in so many photos postcards cute magnets i recently put more photos up alongside the wall and right here in this corner i recently kind of arranged a bunch of things that are pink and i also have some of my alcohol alfred display I'm turning 22 this year i can't believe i've been 21 for almost a year and of course we have my beautiful miffy kettle and then in the second half of my kitchen, we have my appliances, my beloved, beloved Breville. And I also have the cabinet that has my Indigo RM poster on it. And in this corner is a cleaning station. I have all my cleaning supplies hung up and another collage girly pop corner. Over here, I also have my beloved strawberry slice rug and then just like a $10 mirror that I think I got like from Target. And over here by the window, I have my shoe rack right by the door. I also have this huge ZZ plant. It keeps growing bigger. It's always springing up new stems and it makes me so happy to see the new growth. I also have my eclectic <laughs> gathering of figurines on the windowsill and my pride flag. And of course, Kayla's robotic litter box, probably the most iconic part of the living room, which are my bookshelves, my mochi lamp. And then down below, I have Kayla's litter and litter spray. Of all my art prints, I get a lot of questions about the Tanduro box ad and that used to be on Redbubble 
but I think the artist took their artwork down from Redbubble, so I don't know where you can get it anymore. On my shelves, I have my Legos, I have my books, I have my Pop Funkos. I recently got a notification that my Hunter x Hunter Pop Funkos, the ones that I pre-ordered, are getting shipped. So I finally get to have a Pop Funko of my favorite Hunter x Hunter character, which is Kai. Oh my god, that man is so fine. It also gives me the biggest gender envy. The Nam June photo cards are up here. My gold YouTube plaque for a million subscribers also right here but that's the end of this video thank you everyone for watching i hope you like this little mini apartment update and i hope to make more of these in the future i think i will be showcasing an office makeover soon i hope this inspires you to refresh your space even if it just means cleaning up a little bit reorganizing or maybe you are introducing some new pieces to your space and i love y'all so much stay safe everyone i hope to see you again in my next video Bye-bye.